We're here on the corner of Roscoe Boulevard and Van Nuys. This is the busiest public transportation hub in the San Fernando Valley. There's four different bus stops in this intersection alone, and there's no designated bus station for it. The San Fernando Valley is a metropolitan region of nearly two million people. Reaching from the Santa Susana and San Gabriel Mountains on the north to the Santa Monica Mountains on the south, most of the valley is part of the city of Los Angeles, but includes Burbank, Glendale, San Fernando, Hidden Hills, and Calabasas. The neighboring city of Santa Clarita is also part of the San Fernando Valley Council of Governments. If the valley was independent, it would be the nation's fifth most populous city, larger than Philadelphia, Phoenix, and San Antonio. Like most densely populated regions, the valley economy depends on many diverse industries. Entertainment, manufacturing, healthcare, and many other service industries are spread throughout the San Fernando Valley. The Valley region is comprised of dozens of neighborhoods containing diverse residential, employment, and educational opportunities. The Valley boasts a major, highly regarded university. Additionally, numerous community colleges dot the region. Every day, millions of people commute to and from the greater San Fernando Valley region. The number one means of transportation is automobiles which leads to massive congestion during prime time rush hour. However, the congestion continues unexpectedly throughout the day. The San Fernando Valley has an unmet public transportation need. While Los Angeles has a subway and light rail lines, the subway barely extends into the southeastern corner of the valley. Universal City and the North Hollywood Television Academy are the only subway stops across the valley's 350 square miles. The number one source of public transportation in the San Fernando Valley is limited to buses, which have numerous constraints, such as being stuck in traffic with automobiles and running too infrequently to meet the valley's needs. Several years ago, valley leaders convened a series of transportation summits that produced the Orange Line, a dedicated busway. Upon its completion, it was immediately at maximum capacity. The Valley cannot accept another underbuilt project that does not meet the demand. The maxed out Orange Line provides some relief for the San Fernando Valley in the south, along with the expansion of the Orange Line, which connects to the Northwest Valley. However, the central, northern, and northeast parts of the Valley continue to be underserved with limited bus service. Getting around by bus can be difficult with numerous transfers and unreliable service. High schools, Mission College, and Cal State University Northridge are difficult to get to by public transportation. Students who live less than 10 minutes from their school can spend up to an hour and a half using public transportation. As of 2014, the San Fernando Valley area of Los Angeles County comprised 18% of the population. However, the Valley received less than 5% of the funding. While the Valley has the greatest unmet need for essential transportation projects, the San Fernando Valley has nearly 2 million people that live, learn, work, play, and vote. Transportation should not be predicated on class. There are people that view the Valley as a wealthy enclave while others point to impoverished neighborhoods. The fact is, the Valley has the same economic and cultural diversity as any major American city. The San Fernando Valley is a city. We all just need to get around.